Hi guys, I'm Dean. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'm going to show you, how to make a bass house drop like this. Before we begin, click that thumbs up button, and that subscribe button to see more content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with the build up. First, add this type of bass to give the track a dark vibe. I cut off some highs and boosted it to lows. Next add some heavily distorted bass plucks to add some groove to the track. I added a camel crusher to distort the bass. And I cut off some highs and boosted it to lows. Then, add a cinematic drum loop to create some intensity. Then add a metallic bass line like this. I added a pitch bend automation to it. Add some build up snares. A fill. And some kicks. To fill up the empty spaces, I added some exhausts. Some impacts. Some stabs. and some risers. Vocal take a main part when you're making a bass house track. Here, I have the same vocal, but with three different processing. The first one sounds like this. I added a manipulator to give the vocal a darker feeling. The second one sounds like this. For this one, I added some reverb to make the build up a little more muddy. The third one sounds like this. I added a vocal dex and possessed the vocal to make it stand up from the other vocals. After that, create a pitch automation for the vocals. Now, the build up is done. Let's start the drop. Add a kick. And layer it with a top kick. Then add some claps. Now, add some open hi-hats to make some groove. At the second part of the track add some shakers. And some rides. Here, I create some variation when it hits the second part of the drop. 
Add some percussion sounds. Add some bass plucks because, why not? Add some white noise. Here, I automated its volume and added a pitch automation. And add an exhaust. Now, all of our drums and effects sound like this. And guys, I forgot to tell you guys to add this vocal one shot. This vocal one shot can match up with any genre. Then make a dark and simple melody with a lead pluck. I side chained it and boosted it to mids. Here, in this track, to create the main basses, I used three sounds. First one is a growl bass. Then I use the same metallic bass line that I used in the build up, but with some variations. Then the third one is a bass pluck. All these sounds, sound like this. The first one, I boosted it to lows. And for the second one, I boosted it to lows, and a bit of highs. And the third one, I cut off some mids. For the bus channel, I used a camel crusher to distort the sounds. Then, add this bass pluck to follow the melody. For the processing, I used sidechain and distortion. And I cut off some highs. And added some delay. I automated the delay to make it interesting. Then I created a pitch bend automation to the main bass sound. In the second part of the drop, I added some variation to the main bass. Then add some vocal chops to the drop. Beak. Moving to the beak. Put your body moving to the beak. Moving to the beak. Put your body moving, moving. Put your body, put your body, put your body to the beak. Put your body, put your body, put your body to the beak. Put your body, put your body, put your body to the beak. Put your body, put your body, put your body to the beak. Then, to finish the drop, add some short build-up drums, some risers, exhaust, and some impacts. At the end of the drop, I added this arp to increase the muddiness of the track. I used pancake to pan the sound from the left to the right. I automated an endless smile to make some intensity, and I cut off some highs. Also, I created a volume automation. And guys, now our bass house drop is ready. Here's the final result.
So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more content. I post every Tuesday and Friday. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.